Welcome to the screencast for Forest Park parents on how to see the end of the semester report cards in PowerSchool. So you're going to navigate to PowerSchool and you're going to sign in with your email address and your password that you chose. This is the same information you used for online check-in in the summer. If you forgot what that information is, please use this link below the sign-in area to uh, send you your information or to possibly have you change your password. Once you sign in, this is what the first page looks like. This is the grades and attendance page. You'll see over on the left side, there is a new area in the navigation called report cards. You're gonna go ahead and click on report cards. This is what the report cards page looks like. And you'll see up here at the top, there are some tabs. There are some tabs by school year. And when you're clicked on a given year, then there are tabs broken down by quarter. So even though we report grades out at semester, the report card will be listed as quarter two. When you get here, it should automatically be on quarter two or the current time frame that you're, you're choosing to look at. So this is the semester report card. How you know it's reporting out grades for the semester is if you take a look over here under S1, you'll see the grades for each of the classes. And I just wanna kind of explain how this is broken down and how this works with the standards and the scores that we assign to students for, for their summatives in class. Let's take a look at an example class. So let's look at this math class. You can see here there are three standards listed and there are three scores for those standards. Now those scores are averaged together based on the summatives that the student did during that term. You'll see there are scores listed for quarter one, quarter two. Everything is ultimately averaged together for the semester grade. So there are three standards in this particular class. Those scores are all averaged together and then computed out to be an A- minus on the grade scale. If you uh, took a quarter class, or if the student had a quarter class, you'll see that the grades and the scores are just posted for the quarter, but those also carry over to the semester column as well once the semester has ended. If you scroll down, you'll see all your classes, and when you get down near the bottom, you'll see this area. In this area, there's, there's two more things here to take a look at. This first top section here, this is the academic success habits and behaviors, and you'll see there's a key at the top of this. The markings that teachers put in for this are either yes, no, or lacks consistency, and these are for habits and behaviors that students exhibit in class. So that's just a good indication of how your student is performing academic uh, success habits and behaviors. This area at the bottom, if teachers put any comments in at the end of the term, you'll see them listed here. So you can see this is broken down by quarters again. So for a class that may have just been only in quarter one, like Computer App 7, you'll see there's a comment there. Uh, for anything that was a semester long or possibly a year long class, you'll see those listed in quarter two. When you scroll back up to the top, if you wanna see any more information about a student's grade, you can go back to the grades and attendance page. From the grades and attendance page, you can take a look at the overall standard grades that students received for a course. You can also dive into the semester grade and take a look at the different assignments that factored into creating that grade. If you have any questions about the grading or about how standards should be calculated, you can consult the student handbook. You can find this on the Forest Park Middle School webpage if you go to the information tab and there is a place for student handbook. If you do have any questions, please consult with the teacher for the class that you have questions with. And thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this information helps.